Hello Mortgage Coaches, this is Jacob with Support. Today I'm going to show you a new feature that we just added to Edge the other day. This is going to allow you to import Fannie Mae files. So to date you've been able to export Fannie Mae files using the presentation screen in Edge, but now you can bring them in on a case-by-case -case basis. So the first thing you want to do obviously is you want to export your Fannie Mae file from your loan origination system or wherever you're getting it from. And then inside Edge when you want to bring it in, you're going to click on New Client and you'll notice there's an import button down at the bottom now. Click on import and you'll see Fannie Mae as one of your options. Now when you click the drop down you should note that you can import this either as a proposed mortgage or a current mortgage. Now the reason you would choose one or the other is if this was a loan that's already closed in your system way back in the day and you're trying to do an annual review for them or you just want to show them new mortgage options you're going to choose current mortgage when you do that, it's going to import your loan into Edge under the assumptions area, so as a current mortgage. Then you can go ahead and build out your new refi products over in the products section. Now if this is still a prospect, it's not a closed loan in your origination system, you want to import it as a proposed mortgage. That will import it straight over into your products section. Now I'll show you what comes along with the import. For this case study, I'm going to do a current mortgage. So I'm clicking on current mortgage, I'm going to hit OK. Now it's going to ask me to browse for a Fannie Mae file. Now I happen to have a closed loan Fannie Mae file here, so I'm going to go ahead and select that and hit open. Now once you do that, it brings in the basic contact information. And as you go through the screens, if this was a purchase loan for instance, it would check purchase a new home. Since this one's going to be a refi, it didn't check, didn't check any of the goals. It brings in current property value and original appraised value from back when you closed that loan. And then it brings in the mortgage details from that 1003 as an existing mortgage. Now you'll note it populates a first payment date based on the close date in your origination system. So as long as it's closed in your origination system, when you export a Fannie Mae file from that system, it should also put a first payment date in there. Now you can see that it brought over all the loan details straight over from the 1003, so I really don't need to do anything on here, except if I know that they have paid additional principal payments towards the balance, I'd want to update their remaining balance accordingly. Now at that point, if we go forward in the screens, had I taxes and insurance on this one, it would have brought in the taxes and insurance as well. I didn't on this particular file. And when we get to the affordability, you'll notice that it brings in the annual gross income. And as we go through, when we get to the products, they're empty products, but it does import the value as the start value here for our new refi mortgages. So at that point, all we would do is toggle to refi. It automatically brings in the payoff amount, and I can start completing these loan options for my client. Now one thing to note is that anytime you are exporting a file from your origination system, in order to complete the data on the Fannie Mae file, it has to have a social security number. Now normally when you've closed a loan in the past, it already has one on there and it'll export the Fannie Mae file with all the detail you need. Note that Edge does not store a social security number, so you don't have to worry about that. But the Fannie Mae file does need one to be able to store the data. So what this means is that if you're working with a new prospect and you haven't yet run credit, you'll want to put in a fake social. Just put in a bunch of zeros in that social security number field so that when you export it, the Fannie Mae file will carry all the contact information and loan information necessary to produce your proposal. Now when you get to the end of this, if you wanted to export it back to your origination system, you can hit select report, choose Fannie Mae export, and then you're going to choose the loan you want to export. Usually it's going to be one of your new products because you're about to close this loan. Then you hit export Fannie Mae. It's going to ask you what to call it and it'll try and name it by the first name of your borrower. Uh, in this case I'd want to overwrite it. You save it and then you can now import that file back into your origination system if you'd like. If you have any further questions on how to use the Fannie Importer, don't hesitate to reach out to us. We're at support at mortgagecoach.com. Thank you much. Bye-bye.